with no person able to hold him. He becomes the most guarded criminal with four private guards. In Kiev, Ukraine, lives an MMA fighter named Yuri Boyka. He is the Boyka. best fighter in Europe and has gained the title of Undisputed. Yeah, Undisputed steroids user, bro. Like, you're not fooling me. Hey, I'm live on Twitch every single Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Link is in the description. I better see you there. One evening, Boyka is fighting in an illegal match held in an underground arena. As the crowd cheers, he doesn't let the opponent get a single hit on him. Oh. After a brief one-sided fight, he kicks the opponent in midair and knocks him out. Damn. The scene changes to a maximum security prison in Russia. The inmates participate in fights for the guards and the warden's entertainment. Such matches are I never per per participate in fights for that fat f ooh. But they are Russian, so they probably they probably get off of that. Like, you know, there's probably some people, people in the crowd talking about like, oh my god. Oh yes, I love seeing these sweaty men fight for their life. Like I know there's someone in there doing that, right? It's Russia. Seemingly friendly to the outside world, but can get very violent with the right participants. Oh, oh. The deadliest prisoner of all time is a beast of a man named Koshmar. He is so aggressive I, that the I guarantee you Baki beat his ass. I got to a hundred thousand on Baki, bro. Guards have to chain his limbs and close his mouth to ensure he won't hurt anyone outside the ring. Koshmar's opponent is half his size and- There is no way y'all made this the fight. This has to be legal. This has to be human cruelty right here. This is, this is un, uh, 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 some form of, what's it called? Uh, the punishment that's just like cruel and unusual. This, that's what this is. And can hardly land a punch on him. He slams the man to the ground, breaking his neck before proceeding to punch him in the face. The fight only stops when his face is deformed and covered in blood. I take back everything I said about any Russian a day in my life, bro. Y'all are beautiful people, and I have no problems with y'all. Because y'all set niggas up for failure. That was one of the worst setups of all time. Koshmar is known for killing every opponent he fights against. One Piece Not Love Baki, I though. cheered. X100. Waka, my teacher, started to twerk during math class. Your teacher did not start to twerk during math class, okay? I made sure I told him to keep his ass in check. Because the next time he does something funky around the students, I'm going to beat him up. So no, he did not. Showing them no mercy. He is more of a monster than a human and has no guilt for killing so many people. Unlike him, Boyka is a good man outside of the ring. He hasn't had a great life as he was imprisoned for several years and is a wanted criminal in Russia. But he has been able to put his past aside and is trying to be a better person. Y'all think Boyka got his butt touched in prison? I know that big nigga didn't. He looked like he does the butt touching. I'm not going to lie to you, but Boyka, 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 I don't know. He even helps a church in Kiev and is always doing charity work. One day, a priest tells him that he should consider choosing another profession. The priest has always supported Boyka's passion. Hence, the comment comes off as a shock to the fighter. Boyka replies that his talent is a gift from God and he is not willing to stop using it. He wants to fight as a professional and not in an illegal environment anymore. In the afternoon, Boyka is approached by his manager, who reveals that he can finally compete legally in legitimate MMA matches. Yes! The European fighting tournament happening in Budapest has allowed him to take part in the competition yes, if w he wins Boyk, Boyk. a qualifying match. Then comes the day of the qualification match. Since it is one of the most important fights of Boyka's life, he is ready to give it all. His opponent is a Russian man named Victor. The match begins and Boyka lands the first effective kick. In the first few minutes, he shows his defending skills, deflecting every single attack made on him. Man, As Victor I remember when Boyka was eight years old, bro, and I was, we were at the crib and I was teaching him all these moves. I said, one day you are going to make it, especially since I'm your trainer, bro. You just need to dodge this way, weave that way. You need to stay on your feet, you stay on your toes like these, you know what I'm saying? So you can move back and forth, back and forth. Never get caught standing still in, in a fixed position, bro. I remember this. I knew he was going to be great since he was young. Gets more frustrated. It is easier for Boyka to make an attack. Attack. The judges on the sidelines are already impressed. So when he knocks Victor out with a knee to his jaw, I taught him that. Cause I did that shit to him ten times over, until and he was twelve years old when I was doing this to him. And then and then the eleventh time I tried to do it, he stopped it and then gut checked me. That's when I knew he would be a top ten MMA fighter. Now I always knew he was gonna make it, right? But I didn't know he would make it top ten. Twelve years. Oh my god. 
it confirms his qualification. Everyone thinks the match is over, but Victor surprises them by getting up. Seconds later, he is knocked down a second time, but he refuses to accept defeat. By now, Boyka is frustrated, so he lands a third punch on Victor's face, and now knocking he died. him senseless. After the win, the organizers invite Boyka to Budapest to fight in the league, which will open many doors of opportunities for him. The manager gives Boyka a bundle of money, asking him to train hard because the the thing is, the reason why Boyka doesn't feel that happy about the money is because he knows, like, deep down in his heart, he has to give me some because I am the reason why he made it this far. He has to give me some in the pre some. Like, he's not that excited because he knows he has to pay us back. Next match is in two weeks. While leaving, Boyka sees that Victor is in critical condition. He feels guilty for hurting him that bad and would have never done it if he had given up after the first knockout. Boyka remembers the priest's advice and prays for Victor's fast recovery. At night, he wakes up to a nightmare of him killing an opponent in the ring. The very next morning, he him? goes to the manager and inquires about Victor. I'm to his it? shock, he is told that Victor died last night. Can I get a walk as a genius in chat? Can I get a walk as a genius in chat? Can I get a walker? Walkie Coon, your IQ is so unrivaled. In the hospital, they had signed a pre-match contract, so the blame falls on nobody. However, in his heart, Boyka knows that he is the cause of the death. I mean, obviously. Upon being asked about Victor's family, the manager gives him a bag that belonged to him. Inside it, Boyka finds a letter from Victor's wife and their picture together. In reading the letter, he can feel the pain his wife must have gone through when she found out about his death. Right then, Boyka decides to apologize to her and make sure she is not facing any problems in life. He knows that his crime will not be forgiven even then, but he doesn't want to run away from the path of redemption. All I gotta say, bro, is now you have to pay her, me, and the priest? <laughs> You're gonna be broke. <laughs> Boyka tells the manager about his wish to go to Russia to meet Victor's wife, but the guy is extremely against the idea. Boyka is still a criminal in Russia and will be imprisoned if found by the authorities. He will have to make a fake passport, which is a huge risk now that he is so close to being a legitimate MMA fighter. Mm. Boyka understands the consequences. Why did he go to prison the first time? Because Boyka sounded like a guy with good morals. Did he only get good morals after getting his butt touched? Butt touching would change you into a good person. I feel like if I was a bad person and I got my butt touched and they, they said that I, my butt was touched because I was a bad person, I'd be good. I know, I'd be, I'd be swell. I'd probably, I'd be the greatest human being ever. And someone in chat said, no, I wouldn't. But is adamant about his decision. In the following scene, we are introduced to Victor's wife, Alma, who is at his funeral. After his death, she is alone in life. To Victor's wife, Alma. She, she loved boy perfect for my boy Boyka. Uh, you know, widow, you know what I'm saying? Widow. You know, Boyka, Boyka single. Hey, Boyka, you go slide in. Who is at his funeral. After his death, she is alone in life and has no one to turn to. On top of that, she and Victor are indebted to a crime boss named Zurab. He comes to the funeral and suggests Alma be his mistress to pay off her debt. Alma is disgusted by his presence, but she is careful not to make him mad. She simply Big replies that knows. she will rather work hard and pay him in installments. Alma owns and lives in a community center. She and Victor built it with the money they borrowed from Zurab. The place is home to many orphans and people who are in need. You took that man not only from his wife and child, but all these orphans too that he took care of. I hope that really sinks in, Boyka. This lovely woman, you took all of that. On arriving in Russia, Boyka goes to meet her, but notices her being taken away in a black car by a bunch of men. Oh, it Escalade? turns out that she works as a waitress in Zurab's underground fighting club. He is very protective of her and treats her like his property. Later that day, Boyka goes to the fight club and finds Alma. When he tries talking to her, Zurab's people stop him and escort him outside. Boyka wants to avoid fighting, hence he politely asks them what time she will get off work. The gangsters attack him at the question. Man. Yo, why y'all acting like y'all on her, bro? I'm a grown man. Do you not know me? I'm Boyka the murderer from the south, bro. We really get down. We really get nasty. 
You know what I'm saying? When I'm not in the MMA ring beating niggas' asses legally, I be on the streets beating niggas' ass illegally. Right? I get my belt off. I bend them over. I start beating and beating and beating. He look at me. He yelling at me. He try to swing. I duck under his swing. I poke his eyes out. And then I just start beating and beating and beating. You see me? I kiss his nose. I be like, Mwah, before I put my pinky in it and shove it up until I'm molesting his brain. Like, come on, bro. I'm really Boyka. You don't want to mess with Boyka, bro. But our intern taught a lesson for messing with Throw my Discord exclamation point exclamation point Discord in chat, bro. Throw my Discord, man. A professional fighter. Zurab sees Boyka fight and is impressed by his skills. He has been needing a good martial artist in his club and a fight and is impressed by his skills. He has This nigga wanna be me! Oh, he think he, he think because his his chain's a little thicker and a little golder that that, that, that he, he he can't he can get away with being me. BS, bro. Has been needing a good martial artist in BS, his club bro. and wants to hire Boyka. However, the man argues that he is not here to participate in fights. He simply wants to meet the girl. Zurab offers to talk to Alma on his behalf, refusing to let him meet her. But Boyka yet again disagrees with him and walks away. After he is out of sight, Zurab asks his people to keep an eye on him. The following day, Boyka manages to sneak into the community center and meet Alma. Finally. He gives her Victor's letter and asks her if she is being forced to work at the fight club. Alma replies that she would like to work somewhere else, but is bound by the debt. She then reads the letter and asks him if he saw her husband's last fight. Boyka comes clean, admitting that he was the last person Victor fought. He tries explaining that the Oh, so she didn't know. Oh. Oh, you said you're bored? Okay, you know what we do to bored niggas around here. Enjoy this time out, nigga. Uh, go be bored somewhere else. Yeah! Death was an accident, but Alma refuses to listen to her husband's killer. Following the interaction, Boyka goes to Zurab and agrees to fight for him. However, in turn, he will have to forget all of Alma's debt. The deal is that Boyka has to win three matches against the opponent of Zurab's choice. Oh, the gangster fair. also promises to keep him safe from the police and authorities, since he knows that's he got fair. into Russia using a fake passport. The next day, Alma meets Boyka to tell him she doesn't need his pity. She wants him to return home, but Boyka insists he is doing this for his own satisfaction. After that, he goes to a local gym to train for the match. Imagine killing someone's husband, right? Killing him. You don't even know the guy. You kill him, and then you take his wife like three months later. Boyka, bro, you on a, you on a nasty path right now. I'm not going to lie to you, young Boyk Boyk. Boyk, you on a nasty path. But is bullied by a man. When the guy keeps on poking him, Boyka slams him down with a single kick. Then comes the day of the first fight. Boyka goes against a local fighter in an easy match. The rival manages to land a few weak kicks but is proven to be weak in front of someone as good as Boyka. He manages to knock him down weak kicks but is proven to be weak in front of someone as good as Boyka. Now, please, please, bro, what in the world told them this had to be the camera angle we got? We couldn't get a side angle? Why are we at his caboose? He manages to knock him down and is about to throw the last punch, but stops midway. To his relief, the opponent accepts defeat, so he doesn't have to hurt him further. After the fight, Alma serves him drinks. Boyka asks her if she is familiar with a nice local gym, because the one he is going to right now doesn't live up to his standards. Alma thinks about it for a while. So let me guess, he's gonna hesitate punching someone, get his ass beat, and at the last second, he's gonna come to life and beat that man's ass. Who's the man's ass he's gonna beat? The guy who wants to be in Baki so badly. I don't know his name. What's his name? Zerath? Before inviting him to use the gym in her community center. He trains there for the next few days, and ultimately, Alma gets used to his presence. Boyka's next match is a two versus one against a pair of brothers. What type of BS is that? A 2v1? He is oh shocked because my. he was never told about these rules. Zurab boasts that it is his arena, and the fighters have to play by the rules. I'd break that ugly ass niggas. I know I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't break his nose. I would not because the way this man looks right here, bro, I feel like if I'm within 10 meters of his farts, I'm dead. This, he, he is intimidating as hell. He is too. 
I'm not gonna lie to you, cause 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 he's in the t intimidating as in I'll beat your ass, right? And then and then this guy's intimidating as in I'll eat your kid's ass, and I'm just like, um, I don't want either one to happen. The match begins, and Boyka struggles to defend against both brothers at the same time. When he tries to fight one, the other attacks, making it hard for him to focus. Still, he manages to push one away and knock the other one down in the seconds they take to recover. Ooh, it is an equal clean. match until Ooh. Boyka is kicked in his already injured lower back. The pain is unbearable until he sees Alma in the audience. You, the man you kill his wife motivates you to, uh, to try harder and get stronger. This is such an evil love story. And continues fighting. After that, he kicks both their asses and scores a double knockout. The crowd erupts into cheers, as no one had thought he would win this match as well. The next day, Zurab goes to meet Alma and tries to flirt with her. When she deflects his advances, he accuses her of sleeping with Boyka. He also riles her up, claiming that her husband's death wasn't accidental and that Boyka meant to kill him. Alma pretends to not believe him, but the comment bothers her. Meanwhile, Boyka's mm. manager from Ukraine calls him back immediately because he has a press meeting for the fight in Budapest. Boyka asks him to postpone it since he only has one last fight to win. Upon reaching his room, he finds Alma waiting for him. She urges him to tell the truth about her husband's death. I didn't want to kill him. They wasn't call off the fight. I punched him. The nigga got back up. I punched him again. He got back out. I knocked out three different teeth. Tooths. Whatever you want to say. Three of them. They all flew. He's like, you know what? I can lose another one. He deserved to die. I mean, he didn't deserve it, but like, I mean... I mean, he shouldn't have died, but he shouldn't have kept getting up, you know? And Boyka starts telling her about all the hardships he has faced in life. He reveals that the first half of his life was filled with misery. And Did she ask you about your pity backstory? She asked, why did you kill her husband? And you talking about, when I was young, my parents used to beat me until I couldn't speak no more when I was young. They used to feed me rats with, with spoiled carriage juices. Like, no, dude, no one asked. And the match against Victor was his only chance at getting a better life. He gave it all and won, but Victor's death took away a bigger part of him. He knows that accepting his help is very difficult for Alma, but he begs her to let him do what he has to. At night, for the final match, Boyka goes against Igor, Zurab's best fighter who has been mocking Boyka since the day he arrived. Oh, this is the this is the guy who I said would beat your ass. So what happened? What about the big guy who gets held by chains? Igor is especially furious at Boyka because he is a threat to his position in the gang. He takes all his frustration out and showers him with repeated attacks. Okay. He manages to put up this a choreography kind of clean, bro. You know what it reminds me of Naruto, bro. This is like some Naruto type combat. Naruto, is that pissing you off now? Naruto, Naruto, Naruto. Is that making you mad? It should. Tough fight, making Boyka's lower back his main Ooh. target. But the direction of the fight changes when Boyka lands a double midair kick on him. Following that, he beats Igor Black and his I'm Boyka. Just saying, me personally, I never let someone jump That's kick me in my stomach. Oh, Boyka's not slick. Boyka's not slick. Oh. Oh no. I see I see why he was able to he was able to knock him out, bro. Double midair kick on him. A double midair kick. Follow and then he does this crazy spin. Never would be able to land that on me. Once I see you jumping in the air, bro, I'm I'm just jumping out the I'm jumping out the arena. He beats Igor black and blue, making him bleed profusely until he passes out. With this, he wins the entire tournament, and Alma's debt is paid. However, Zurab has already predicted the outcome and prepared for it. He stops Boyka and reveals that he has to fight one last man for their deal to be of over. Of course. Boyka only of has a course. few hours before his meeting in Budapest, which is very crucial for his career. But he doesn't want to leave without saving Alma. Hence, he asks the manager to wait until the next morning and gets ready to fight the final champion. Again? The nigga just got a break. Oh my God. So y'all gonna wear and tear him until he's nearly dead and then make him fight against Man. The opponent is Koshmar, the beast who has fought and killed all of his opponents. David Goggins? In the Russian prison. He is brought into the arena in chains because of his violent nature. The fight starts, but Boyka is already too tired. Look at this man's build, bro. 
How many steroids? More steroids than The Rock began? He tries his best, but his attacks seem to do Koshmar little to no harm because of his physique. The Beast lands several punches on him before kicking him in the jaw. Boyka falls down because of the impact and has a hard time standing back up. Kick him in the nuts, bro. It's a private underground arena, bro. Just do the same thing you did to the last guy. Nut check him. You feel what I'm saying? Eyeball check him. Seconds before losing the fight, he gathers strength and stands up again. But I ain't never be motivated by another man's wife. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's kind of crazy. Ben slammed to the floor. Oh. When Koshmar is almost sure that he has won, Boyka takes him by surprise and pushes him back with a kick. I'm getting tired of y'all letting this nigga just stay in the air for 20 seconds to kick y'all. But maybe that's just because I'm a, uh, I'm a, uh, I'm a mixed fighting artist genius. After that, the fight tilts to his side. He holds the beast in an arm lock, breaking his right arm before kicking him out of the ring. Oh. With this, he finally wins the match. But Zurab is still not ready to let go of Alma. He makes his minion attack Boyka while he tries to run away with the girl. Boyka is a I hate sore losers, bro. That's why you should have killed him on sight. Broke his stupid ass on nose. the ground at his lowest when he sees Alma being pulled outside. With renewed motivation and anger, he attacks the guards and kills them all. This man is using Alma like he's like she's uh like the power of friendship in anime. He sees Alma and all the pain just disappears. He gets another power up. The only thing he needs is his hair to turn a different color. At last, he gets his hands on Zurab and tackles him to the ground. Boyka is shot in the process, but his pain is overshadowed by his anger. Event is overshadowed by the power of friendship. Eventually, Zurab is strangled to death. Alma tries to help Boyka, but he stops her, asking her if he has her forgiveness. Sometime later, the police arrive and arrest him. Before being pulled away, he again inquires if she forgives him, but Alma doesn't give him a reply. Then, Boyka is put back into a Russian prison. A month later, Alma comes to visit him and tells him that he is forgiven. Boyka is relieved for the first time in months, even though his plan to become a professional fighter failed. In the last scene, we see him fighting in the prison's arena, continuing to hold the title of the Undisputed. Hell no! He still had to go to prison?! What type of trash-ass ending is that? So not only does he practically beat the Russian Mafia, you know, single-handedly, she gets this woman out of, out of life-crushing debt and, and trafficking, and he got to go to prison. 